Hey everyone, Wolf752 here. Welcome to the Quest of the Wolfstone casting call result. Before we begin, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who auditioned. There were over 100 auditions that I received. There were so many talented people that I just wanted to cast, but there wasn't enough roles. So stay tuned for the next casting call. Without further ado, let's get to the results. It's time! It's time! It's time! Everybody get up! It's time for the naming ceremony! It, it's time! Time? Time for what? Oh! The naming ceremony! It's time! Welcome everyone to Jake's Inger Management class. Be at peace. Before we begin, let us introduce ourselves. My name is Jake, and what is your name? We affirm you, Cecile. <laughs> B? Ad? Peace! B? At? Peace! Have I ever told you the story of the Great Spirit Wolf? Of how all of our metrics and everything you see here today came to be? Long ago, before the Great Plateau that we live on formed, and before the great snowy mountains of the ice packed territory were ever sculpted, or before the sun scorched the deserts of the fire territory, and the ancient forests of the earth packed territory grew, and even before the great Oceana came to be. Mommy, Mama, can you tell me a story, please? How about an adventure story? Oh, looks like this is a touchy subject for you. <laughs> oh, and since it seems like you have forgotten, you are a bad almond loser. The ancestors never lie. Ha! Why do you think your daddy left before you were born? Perhaps the ancestors told him that a blind bad almond was going to be born, and he didn't want to ruin his name. So he decided to leave the pack in your mom so that he wouldn't become a laughing stock just like you and your mother! I've come to take my rightful place as Alpha, old man. By the laws of our ancestors, I, Cairo, challenge you, Damien, Alpha of Pine Valley Pack. If anyone finds out about this, you'll be the first wolf I'll find. Then, you'll end up just like your little Alpha. Is that clear? Wolves of Pine Valley Pack, I have an announcement to make. I, Cairo, will be your new Alpha now. Face it, Damien. Xavier may never be coming back. He's been gone for almost three moons already. He probably doesn't even know the pup exists. <sighs> Look, I know you want him to come back almost as much as I do, but he just isn't coming back. He abandoned us, I'm sure of it. And I do not want to be the mother of a weak, blind, bad omen. I will become the next laughingstock of the pack if we keep him. Please, do this for me. Just leave him at the edge of the territory. The elements will take care of the rest. Or some other creature will find him and finish the job. No one will have to know. I could just say that they both died. Cecil, what you just did there. Attacking another pack member, that is unacceptable behavior. You cannot act like that or else the darkness may take control of you. I'm doing the best I can for you. Intervening with the bully situations the best I can when I catch them. Even going as far as to move you and your mother's living space to the edge of the camp so you don't get taunted as badly. But you must understand it, Cecil. I'm getting older, and I can't protect you forever. One of these days, some youngster 
will come and challenge me for my leadership as Alpha. And when that happens, and they win, I won't be around to protect you anymore. You know I can't do that. I'm merely a spirit. I don't have those powers to foresee the future or tell one's destiny and track every wolf on the lands. Only elder spirits, what you guys call the ancestors, can do that. Actually, they did let me see one's future once and write her destiny. But I kinda sorta messed it up. Hey, don't look at me like that. Larkin is hard, okay? Why, yes, Raven. I don't know, sounds like a pretty sick name, don't you think? I even have black fur like a raven, and I can fly like one too. I can even sound like one. Grar! Okay, maybe not sound like one. <laughs> Wait, Cecil means blind. You're blind? Well, I can't just leave him here alone in the forest for wild animals to come and eat him. He's blind! Who knows what type of danger he'll get into without my help? Okay, I've decided I'm coming with you. Why doesn't anyone listen to me? Hey kid, look. It's not safe for some young pups wandering out here alone in the wilderness. You just prove that yourself. Let me come with you. You need protection. There's some creatures out here that would love to snack on you. Big ones. Could eat you whole, I reckon. Name's Lucky, though, as you can see, not very lucky. <laughs> that there is a rattler. Nasty things. You don't want to be messing with them. Listen, kid. I can't recommend you heading down this path. But I'm with you all the way. How is that even fair? Why are they allowed to bully and harass me every day and get away with it, but the woman I fight back, I'm the one that gets the punishment? Is it because I'm blind? Or maybe because I'm a stupid bad omen? No, I'm not blind. I'm deaf. Yes, I won't tell anyone. I, I promise, sir. I trusted you. And you lied to me. How dare you!